Today, I'm going to show you how to create one click AI SEO tools for free using Po AI. And anyone can do this. I'm going to give you all the templates, tips, and workflows for free today. You're going to learn the fastest, easiest way to create your own free AI SEO tools to help you rank faster. You'll learn how to create your own SaaS tools, how to rank these tools with SEO, and actually generate income. I'll show you proof of that in a second. And I'll give you free access to everything that I show you today. By the way, if you don't know who I am, I'm Julian Goldie. I run the SEO boardroom, the SEO Elite Circle. I have a link building agency with over a hundred clients and you can see what people have to say about me right here so let's get into it first thing you want to do is sign up for an account in po.com and then from here you're going to create a bot now what you can see here is that you choose a handle so you can actually name the bot whatever you want and i'll come on to why that's important in a second what you can see here is you get a choice between using a prompt or using a server right now i would recommend that you just use this prompt for now if you want to keep this free and what you see in the base bot section is a ridiculous number of free AI SEO models that you can use to actually operate your bot, right? So you could say, right, I want to use Mistral or Llama. I want to use GPT-40, as you can see right there. And a lot of these are actually free, right? So some of them are paid. You can see subscriber access, it says right there. But for example, if you just want to use, let's say... Claude 3 Heiko, 200k tokens right there. We could select that and then we're good to go. It's not going to cost us anything, my friend. Now, from here, you're going to choose your prompt. Now, in the prompt section right here, you can basically instruct your chat GPT to do whatever you want, right? So let's say, for example, you want a meta tag generator, right? Then you can instruct it right here or a topical map maker or whatever you want. And all these things, you can train the prompt to do it in one single click. That's up to you, you just change the instructions. Now, well, the other thing that I would say is if you need inspiration on what bots to create, what I would recommend is you can actually just search a SaaS tool website, it could be like Product Hunter or AppSumo, for example, you can type in AI SEO right here and you will get a bunch of ideas for different pieces of software that you could create for free yourself. So for example, you can see this tool right here creates metatags. Could you train the bot to do that too? Absolutely. It might require a bit more work, but you can do it for free using a bot like Po. And so, for example, let's go on to this tool right here. We'll name it Metatag Bot. And then from here, we can choose Use Prompt, select the base bot. I'm going to go with Claude. I actually really like Claude. I think it's quite a sentient model and it feels a lot more human than ChatGPT. Then from here, we'll put in the prompt, generate SEO optimize meta titles just going to find what is the best meta title length so for example 50 to 60 characters seems to be best so we'll go with that and then we'll say ask the user for the keyword create 10 meta title options based on that right and so we've instructed the prompt exactly what to do you can change it however you want i would also say if you're doing this for seo then you want to front load the keyword in the meta title typically you can have a greeting message if you really want. I'm not too fussed. You can have a bio as well if you want to share this with other people. And then you can choose whether you want it to suggest replies, render markdown content, temperature, etc. As you can see, it goes from zero to one is basically the creativity of the response. The bot gets too creative. It could go too mad, right? Now, if you bang it down to zero, it's probably not going to be that useful, right? Because the actual meta titles it come up, comes up with are going to, I'm not going to be very good at all. For a metal title, I would say you probably want that about, I don't know, 0 0.65. We'll go with that. I'm not going to add a bot title or bio for now, but I would recommend you do do that if you need to come back to the bot or if you want to share it with people, etc. And then what you can see down here is that you can actually earn money if you share these tools, right? So it says, so if you click this, if enabled, non-subscribe users will see a paywall after reaching the message limit, right? So you can give people a tester of the bot and then if they use it, you can say, right, they get maybe 10 messages a day maximum and then they have to pay per message, right? So you can actually set a price to earn for every bot response. So I can say, right, it's gonna cost you $100 per 1,000 messages. Now that's down to you, however you want to monetize it, but it's pretty interesting to see that. And you can say, right, daily message limit is 10 or 20 or whatever. I'm not going to use that for now, but it's very interesting to see that this is a brand new feature I've never seen before, and it's just been added recently to Poe AI. And you can see how this could be quite a good way to make money. So if we click on create bot, we can continue right here. And we've created MetaTag Man, the one and only. 
And now, for example, I'm going to put keyword equals white label SEO services. And what you can see here is that it's included a bunch of meta titles. Now, it's not stuck specifically to my recommendation to front load the keyword. But what you can see is inside each meta title is giving us a keyword, right? White label SEO services, elevate your agency's offerings. Unlock growth with white label SEO services. White label SEO services, outsource to experts, grow your business, etc. right? So it gives you a bunch of meta tag ideas. Now, I would recommend tweaking that, improving it, because it's a little bit fluffy. It feels a little bit AI generated. And if we check the character count, we'll see how long it is. Yeah, so you can see the character limit right there is just above what I'm comfortable with. So ideally, we want like 50, 60 characters. That's given us 66. But you can see how literally in one click, you can generate a meta tag machine that basically automates thinking and creating the meta title for your blog posts. Obviously, you always need to apply a bit of common sense to this, but you can see the power of this. Now, you could do this for anything. It doesn't have to be meta tags, right? So I could go back to meta tag man, where did the bot right here? And we can change that and start from scratch. And we'll go, okay, topical map generator. And we'll say, generate a topical map based on the user's niche. Come up with five relevant categories, tell relevant pages for each category. And then make sure every page is a different search intent. And we'll say, keep the page titles and categories three to five words each, right? And so now we've got the topical map generator, we've got the base bot. We have the prompt plugged in right there. We can hit save right here. So you can say, right, I don't want to make this public. I don't want to have relevant bot recommendations. So I don't want to be recommended on other people's bots. And then we're good to go on that. So we'll hit save. And then I'm going to put niche equals baseball bats. What you can see is it's generated literally in one click again. The categories, so buying guides, comparisons, customization, maintenance, training, and then the pages underneath each category, right? So baseball bat buying guide. We've got different options there. Baseball bat comparisons is comparing a bunch of baseball bats right there. And that was so easy. Now, obviously, this is not the finished product. You want to go back and forth with the bot. You want to tweak the prompt until it's right. But the thing is, you can just bookmark this, come back to it whenever you need to, and then you only have to tweak that prompt once. And then you've got the prompt saved inside the bot and this is completely free a make.com subscription or an api or anything like that it's all good to go for free it's completely and these are all one click tools that you're creating right so for example we created the top of map literally in one click we created the meta tags in one click it's so easy to do and you can literally map this out to every single process in your business right or a bunch of ideas that you could actually use this for. So for example, keyword research, top of maps, outlines, content, meta tags, images, etc. For example, like this thumbnail that I created in a video yesterday got a thousand views already. And it's kind of like a crazy clickbait AI robot that I generated in one click, right? And so what I can do is I can take the custom instructions from this custom GPT. I can go on my top of map creator, edit that bot again, change the handle to white YouTube thumbnail generator, we're going to change the base bot to something that can generate images. So for example, let's go with stable diffusion. We'll put in the prompt right here. Now, what you can see right here is that you actually get a shorter token limit inside the instructions of Poe AI versus ChatGPT. So ChatGPT, you can put in pretty much as much as you want. Inside Poe, you get a much lower character count. Then we'll go to save. And then from here, we're going to go to topic equals SEO keyword research. And it's generating the image as you can see, and it's created the image right there, right? Now, personally, I wouldn't be happy with that. I would tweak the prompt a lot more, but you can see the potential of that and how easy it is to create these sort of bots that can generate everything you need in one click. And like I say, you can do this for pretty much any process in your business. Now, the one thing that I would say with this is whatever you do, you know, you're always gonna have to use a bit of common sense. You're always gonna have to like manually quality control your content if you want it to be good. This is available inside my free course, links inside the comments description if you want access to this manual quality control checklist. But between the checklist and creating bots, you can basically make anything in your business one click. These bots can actually rank for keywords, right? So you can see, for example, this chat GPT math solver right here, it's getting 1,100 traffic according to Ahrefs. It's ranking for 228 keywords. 
And if you find the right keywords that you optimize your bot for, you can create a free tool, insert your affiliate links or insert your funnel links, rank for it on Google, and generate income because you can monetize these tools as well. So if you can find keywords that are low competition and have search intent of like looking for a tool, for example, like, I don't know, topical map generator, then you can create these tools, rank them on Google, get them indexed and monetize them. You're creating something useful, sharing it, ranking it on Google, and then getting customers that way to make money. So thanks so much for watching. We have covered how to create free one-click AI SEO tools to rank number one with Poe AI, as promised. I've shown you the fastest, easiest way to create free AI SEO tools to help you rank faster, how to create your own SaaS tools, how to rank these tools with SEO and generate income, aka you can monetize and rank them on Google. What I've actually done is transcribed the whole video today and created a step-by-step -step SOP that you or your team can emulate if you want to follow the steps I've talked about today and create your own free AI SEO tools that can generate outcomes in one click. So if you want to get access to that, what I want to do is I will take it right here. We'll plug that into the SEO system section. I've called that Poe AI SEO tools. And you can see the SOP right down there. If you want to get access to all the prompts, tips, and workflows from today, I've broken this down into an SOP and then plugged it into my free course. Links inside the comments and description. You get free access to that. Check out the SEO system section. If you want to rank higher, get more leads, get more traffic to your business and personalize everything that we've talked about today, feel free to book in a free SEO strategy session. This is a one-to-one -one call where you get an SEO domination plan, discover the secrets of link building, or answer any questions that you have one-to-one, -one, and you'll discover the best link building strategies for your website to quickly outrank your competitors and increase your SEO traffic. Feel free to book that in. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it as always. 